Hello everybody, welcome back to Expedition Homestead. On today's episode, we're gonna show you guys how to plant tomato plants of all different varieties in a five gallon bucket. You can grow beef steak varieties, big boy tomatoes, super sweet 100s, cherry tomatoes, indeterminate and determinate varieties alike. You can grow them all in a five gallon bucket like this one. All you have to do is go around the bottom and drill about 12 to 18 quarter inch or three eighths inch holes on the bottom of your bucket. Then fill the entire bucket with a regular garden potting soil or raised bed mix. This is gonna be a mixture of soil and compost. If you're making your own soil, I do recommend that you put in some peat moss or some organic material, uh, compost, and then if your mixture is not well draining, add in a little bit of sand with that as well. Now let's get to the tomatoes and the time of year that we're gonna be doing this. We have all sorts of tomato seedlings here that we've been growing inside the garden downstairs. We have three of them up front that I planted already and a bunch of seedlings that are ready to go. Uh, what we're going to do is first thing was going to be pinching off the bottom leaves up to about uh, six or eight inches above the soil where it's growing at currently. Just pinch all of those off and we're going to bury these deep. So soil is going to be almost all the way up to this first set of leaves right there. So now that we have the seedling prepped and our soil is almost prepped, what we're going to do next is add in some fertilizer. Since tomatoes do require a higher uh, potassium and phosphorus level, much higher than a lot of other plants, I do recommend getting an organic fertilizer for them compared to like a plain old compost would be pretty much suffice for most other vegetables. But you're gonna see a lot of great benefits from using a fertilizer on your tomatoes specifically. So we're gonna spread in about a half a cup of this fertilizer within the top four to eight inches of the soil and the container. And when we put the seedling into the soil, we're going to break up the roots a little bit if they're root bound. And then the little guy here is sprinkling on some mycorrhizal fungi to the root system as well. Good job. So we can sprinkle that, the mycorrhizal fungi on the roots, and then a little bit in the soil too. So like I said, we're gonna dig down deep to get this tomato seedling way down there. Then we're going to hill up the soil all around it. So we're going to hill up the soil around the base of the tomato seedling. And then I'm gonna leave about an inch or two inches around the outside of the container so I can put a nice layer of mulch and wood chips over the top of this. If you guys are new, new to the channel, you're not aware that I do this with all of my vegetables, and all of my plants. I throw up a ton of wood chips and mulch throughout the year on anything that I'm growing that is bigger than a normal seedling size. So as soon as it's growing above the ground, I'm gonna throw some wood chips on top of that. That's really gonna help maintain soil moisture and it's gonna help feed the plants because that stuff is gonna be breaking down over time. It's gonna feed microorganisms in the soil as well. All around, just a great thing to do. It's a very, very good measure to take when growing any sort of plants, especially vegetables. So let's get some wood chips on here. And of course, give it a nice and thorough watering after you've done so. I'm gonna show you guys some more of our tomato plants that we have in our raised garden bed. And then we're gonna talk about when you should be planting your tomatoes 
outdoors. So we'll be growing all in all about eight tomato plants in the five gallon buckets. And then we'll be growing seven other tomato plants in this bed here. We have a Rutgers tomato, beefsteak tomato, Cherokee purple tomato, and then a super sweet 100 variety on the end. And then all three in the front row are a Cherokee purple tomato variety. We're gonna be trellising these large indeterminate varieties up using these stakes. And probably we'll be doing the same thing on the front row here as well. So when should you plant your tomatoes outdoors? Well, today is May 13th and we're just starting to get normal temperatures just above 45 degrees at night. So this is technically a little bit early for us to be planting, but my seedlings have just been growing so crazy, I've got to get them in the ground. So the real point is that once your soil temperatures are above 45 degrees, preferably about 50 degrees, that's when you can plant your tomato seedlings outdoors. Generally, this is gonna be about a week or two after your last frost date. But a really quick and easy way to check your soil temperature is just by taking a meat temperature probe, stick it in the soil and see what temperature is at, it's at. Um, if it's above 45 to 50 degrees, then you guys are good to go. Especially if you're not getting nighttime temperatures below 45 degrees, that's really my signal to get the tomatoes outside and growing. Of course, make sure you harden your tomato seedlings off. And if you don't know how to do that, just check out my channel. I've got an entire playlist on growing um, vegetable seedlings and you can find my video on how to harden off seedlings on there. It's a really simple process and it is a must do if you've been growing your seedlings indoors. A couple of other very important things are going to be watering and sunlight. For watering, you're almost going to be watering these things once every day or once every two days. We do not want the soil to dry out. So a quick way to see if it's dry or not is reach down your finger about two knuckles and if it still feels moist, then you're okay. But if it feels totally dry at the tip of your finger, then you're going to want to water. And as far as sunlight goes, keep these in as much sunlight as you possibly can. So if you have some areas of your yard that get full sun, go ahead and put them there if you can. That is one of the great things about growing tomatoes in these buckets is you can pretty much grow them anywhere. So thank you all so much for tuning into today's episode. Hope you guys are having an awesome spring so far. We're getting geared up. We've almost got all of our plants in the ground except for our squash and cucumber and peppers. So uh, with tomatoes knocked off the list, we've only got a few more to go. Thank you all so much for watching. Happy gardening and we'll see you in the next episode.